welcome guys to Idol Games TV and we're going to check out King God Castle over here. Now this is not going to be an idle game but this is going to be a tower defense game and it's awesome let me tell you now honestly you're going to need to play it quite a lot but you're going to need to wait a bit when you're not going to have energy basically the energy is going to be the meat the food let's say and you're going to consume it when you're going to jump into different kinds of battles now you're going to have the barracks over here you're going to need to collect a lot a lot of soldiers and as you can see over here <coughs> man let me tell you a big big game and you're going to need to spend a lot lot of time in it so let's jump into a small fight over here you're going to have <coughs> over here different kind of chapters uh, i have reached somewhere around chapter 5 over here uh, you do need to upgrade your soldiers in order for them obviously to be stronger and so on afterwards after you're going to complete that chapter you're going to be able to fight in the corruption system over here and the corruption will give you different kind of keys where you're going to be able to do a lot of summons and so on but first things first let's go back a bit and let's jump into the expedition part now the expedition depending on the day that you're going to play in is going to reward you with uh, crowns with books or with gold coins now obviously when you're going to play in the gold coins try to get as much as you can now well you will have over here some phases try to change every time the phase okay in order for you to actually uh, move to the next one to the next one and to the next one now over here uh, right now i'm going to be able to fight with other opponents now the fact is that over here i have a specific amount of uh, silver coins that I am able to consume. I am able to expand my troops over here in order for me to have more troops in my castle and I have a wandering merchant over here. Now this is the most important one that you are going to find in the game even in the campaign mode. Over here I am going to refresh because I am searching for premium hero scroll. Now this is what I am going to concentrate on. These are the ones that I definitely need because from here I'm going to summon automatically heroes with two stars. If I will not have those specific scrolls, I will summon only heroes with one star. And I do not want that, okay? Right now, I want to focus on having better and better heroes. Now, over here, you're going to be able to merge them, as you can see right now. And that's what you're going to need to do. You're going to need to merge your heroes, your uh, soldiers, let's say, in order for them to do... Uh, higher damage obviously if you're going to have more stars for them obviously it's going to be uh, let's say uh, better for you due to the fact that you're going to have stronger and stronger heroes now here it is i'm going to be able to merge this guy her over here mm -hmm, and i cannot expand anymore now let's think a bit over here now you can also forge but we're going to get into that afterwards so let's start the fight and let me show you how basically it goes if i'm going to summon only with three as you can see over here i'm going to summon only only with two stars so do not want that okay that's what you're going to want to do you're going to want to have heroes here it is if you're going to start you'll not be able to spend the other uh, the other coins that you have and this will be until the end so depending on the strength on your heroes and what gear did you put on them you're going to be able to go forward or not now the idea is that even though you will lose some heroes in specific fights when you're going to start again you will have the same player so here it is i'm going to need to fight with all of those uh, all of those heroes over here and obviously depending on how far they will i go they will be stronger and stronger okay so right now i'll move to the next fight here it is now too bad that i cannot use the items that i will collect in my backpack so basically every time you're going to kill a hero that has armor on him or different kind of weapons basically will collect those specific weapons from him and obviously you will have them in your stash that's the idea here it is i have lost this battle so i have two one and one lost now let's hope that i have at least uh, a four one and obviously that's how i'm able to collect even more and more rewards the idea is that you're going to want to merge your hero that's the thing that you're going to need to do you're going to be able to gear them up with three different weapons obviously the weapons will also merge depending on how much will you find from those specific uh, types you will have bows you will have staffs you will have armors and you will have swords and you will have different kind of tiers for those specific weapons and for those specific swords the idea is that you're going to want to merge them quite a lot in order for them to 
also be in the next tier in order for them to also be stronger and stronger that's going to be the point that you're going to want to do over here in the campaign when you're going to fight you're going to consume five meat for every attempt that you're going to have in the battle uh, most probably i will not win four or will i let's see so i have three versus three and the last one is oh my god they're going to kick my ass so bad so when you can see the yellow stars they are quite quite buffed let's say so you will have brown stars afterwards you'll have gray stars and afterwards you'll have yellow stars so once with the yellow stars are the strongest ones oh here it is i'm going to win yay awesome guys so i have one four out of three obviously it would have been better if i would have won all of those but what can you do so here it is i've earned some crowns now the crowns are the ones that are going to open over here the king pass and obviously depending on how much will you play you're going to earn more and more points out of this game every time you're going to get a new hero you're going to have three specific things that you're going to need to do in order for you to collect more cards for that specific hero now for example me right now i have unlocked mara now win with mara i need to play with mara three times and i need to upgrade mara to tier 5 at battle so you're going to go in the barracks over here and you're going to change the new hero that you just got with an oldest one it doesn't matter and right now we're going to go into a battle so let's go in chapter 2 and we're going to go with like this so we're going to start now the only heroes that you're going to be able to summon in the battlefield are the ones that you're going to place in your deck card so keep that in mind when you're going to start you're going to need to do first two summons then you're going to start because you will not have enough uh, silver coins to uh, expand your troops or to uh, summon uh, new troops so that's what you're going to need to do right now i have the possibility to do another summon or expand if i'm going to expand i will not be able to buy a new hero so i will buy a new hero because i already have three slots and here it is i will be able to merge them and buy a new one so right now i'm going to start and as you can see you're going to be able to place the same hero with different kind of stars you can also place the same hero with the same amount of stars if you're not going to merge them so for example if you're going to have the sources like i have with two stars it doesn't matter over there okay right now i'm going to summon here it is i did a good good thing i'm going to merge them and i'm going to summon again so here it is i have her with the silver star as you can see over there now you're going to be able to fight over here 20 battles so it's going to be quite quite a long time the baddest thing that you're going to encounter in this game is going to be the money problem so you're going to figure out the fact that it's really really hard for you to collect those gold coins and you're going to need to play it a lot you're going to need to farm a lot every time you're going to have specific energy come and summon now what i'm going to do is i'm going to tell you what i'm doing in order for me to progress even faster so every time you're going to have these items you're going to choose the one that is suitable for you it doesn't matter i'm going to choose this one just for the sake of the video but try to find the merchant so the merchant will come at uh, stage 10 at stage 15 and at stage 19 before the last battle it will come and try to get those scrolls that offer you the possibility uh, you will also have the devil's proposal i'm not i'm going to refuse it and here it is the merchant and watch the ad if you're going to have the possibility to watch an ad watch the ad it's going to be best i'm going to buy this one just to show you here it is you're going to merge the items i'm going to place it on her i'm also going to put that that over here that over here that over here and when you're going to have books depending on what books do you have you're going to be able uh, to uh, basically increase the star of your specific creature that you're going to have your specific troop now as i mentioned you're going to need to do a lot of merges in this game don't bother okay try to go as further as you can then come back try to complete every challenge try to increase the challenge every time you're going to start a new gameplay try to increase the challenge the difficulty of that specific campaign mode in order for you to get more and more rewards every time you're going to increase that specific uh, uh, difficulty in the campaign mode you're going to see that uh, you're going to uh, let's say have more and more rewards but also the enemy is going to be really hard and from time to time you're going to die it's definitely also a luck thing and what i mean by the luck is the fact that if you're not going to start with a good deck 
and from the start you're going to have uh, let's say troops that really really suck uh, definitely you're going to lose and it happened to me i lost the first fight guys the first fight that you're going to have with the first two units i have lost it two or three times because because my troops were not that advanced so here it is try to get this premium scroll is the best thing that you can put your hands on and that's what you're going to want to do over here you're going to want to get that scroll and eventually you're going to want to increase the specific uh, capacity of your troops now keep in mind that you will be able uh, i think i placed up to 10 heroes on my deck but you will have different kind of uh, of objects in your path and if you're going to have those objects in your path you will not be able to uh, send all your tanks basically all your main troops in the front and what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to hire some uh, uh, troops that have uh, the possibility to have a range attack so for example sorcerers or the guys with the gun you're going to need those as well because that's how you're going to be able to eventually kill them you're going to have some tanks this is a really really good one so if you're going to be able to get your hands on him he's going to be quite useful now let's start over here okay so as you can see the the new let's say the new hero that i have just placed in my troop is doing quite well so basically they will vanish and they will go behind the enemy so basically i can place even more tanks in my troop now here it is some of them died but it doesn't matter due to the fact that next time next round I am still going to have my hero so that's really really a good thing remember you're going to need to merge quite a lot in this game you do want to place your heroes in specific positions uh, these ones you can place them over here and let's see how they are doing so here it is they will just vanish behind the enemy or next to the enemy and it's going to be decent enough now guys if you have played this one and reached further than me drop a comment and let us know your tips your guides regarding this game you're going to need to collect a lot of uh, cards for those specific heroes i'm going to exit right now i'm going to retreat basically that's what i'm going to do and over here you're going to have the barracks as i mentioned and you're going to have relics as well basically you're going to be able to merge relics combine uh, dismantle them and the relics are going to offer you also different kind of bonuses that you're going to be able to have in the battlefield and you're going to have the altars over here now you can choose up to three altars that are going to help you in the battle so choose wisely i went for the altar of blood because it has 60 percent hp drain attack and spell damage so i will need that honestly it's going to be better for me at least in my opinion let me know if you have choose a different thing now obviously you're going to be able to also use like for example the altar of giants so damage reduction attack by 0.5 percent of the maximum hp and 10 percent reflect damage but you're going to need to put a lot of gold coins in the altar as well keep that in mind now you're going to have the possibility to do summons you're going to have a daily package over here a daily shop my bad uh, try to buy at least at the beginning some of the heroes in order for you to level them up after you're going to be able to get enough cards from them you're going to be able to use these specific books that you're going to be able to upgrade them and if i'm going to upgrade them in order for me to evolve them i'm going to need some gold coins so please keep in mind the gold coins are quite quite heavy to get and you're going to have a problem related to that fact obviously you're going to be able to jump into the arena you're going to need a good good deck over here so please it's going to be hard uh, it's not that easy of a game so please try to understand that it's not an easy game honestly you played it for quite a while and it's not that easy you're going to need to put different kind of strategies strategies made by different kind of troops now over here uh, what is it in the package or in the currency over here in the currency at first try to get uh, your hands on the handful of gold those plus 400 are quite useful you're going to need them when you're going to start this game because you will not have the possibility to upgrade your troops and that's what you're going to need to do you're going to need to farm quite a lot and you're going to jump into the battle let's go for the first one over here you're going to be able to increase the reward you're going to be able to get uh, the reward multiplied with four and you can change the challenges over here now as you can see the challenge uh, points are going to be enemy forces challenge phase elite enemy castle durability you're going to have up to three flags and every time you're going to lose you're going to lose a flag now if you're going to lose you will be able to restart that specific battle with uh, you're going to get some uh, let's say some some gold coins some silver coins in the battle if you lost in order for you to do 
some upgrades if you can with that small amount if not you're going to lose again again and again and when you're going to lose the third flag you're going to have the possibility to revive your troops with an add or with gems if not you're going to lose that fight and you will only get the rewards from that specific phase where you have encountered it now keep in mind you're going to have different kind of events as well you're going to have over here uh, random buffs random bosses sorry and blue versus red so let's enter over here in the blue versus red you're just going to need to pick a side basically that's the only thing that you're going to need to do and i'm going to go with blue only blue okay just for the sake of this video i'm going to go only with blue but you're going to need to figure out which one is the strongest one okay so for example i know vampires versus undead so quite cool so most probably you're going to be able to also hire some vampires on your side oh my god this is a really really huge game and you're going to need to figure out a lot of strategies and from what i saw it's it's really nice i mean definitely the game developers have put a lot a lot of things okay let's go for the blue as well let's die i'm going to lose this one see yeah definitely lose it okay but doesn't matter so right now i'm wrong so you get the idea you're going to choose good bad good bad so it is i know that this guy was summoning every time he's going to level up his mana is going to summon again again and again now too bad that that uh, hero is quite quite strong so most probably he will kill me eventually because yeah yeah i'm going to lose this one as well but what can you do okay so two versus two right now okay and i'm going to go with blue i'm still going to go with blue and yeah i'm going to win this one good for me okay so three out of five definitely the best option here it is okay claim and that's it uh, over here you're going to have also the possibility to fight with random bosses so the same idea still applies you're going to have a specific amount of silver coins uh, you're going to need to decide what troops so here it is those are your troops and you're going to be able to level them up randomly or obtain some equipment now what you're going to want to do you cannot level up your castle so keep that in mind and uh, honestly i'm going to random them up here it is and no more okay let's fight let's see if i'm going to kill him or not oh he's strong all right okay but here it is i won okay now the next fight now as you can see oh i can use this one so here it is i'm going to hit start now the health of your heroes does matter so over here most probably you'll be able to lose some of your heroes so i'm going to place this one over here you you the healer now the healer does matter a lot okay so keep that in mind i'm going to level up again go guys go and do your job now here it is this is a thing that summons some slimes and these are going to multiply endlessly endlessly <laughs> you're going to need to watch out for this guy every time you're going to find him in the campaign okay and here it is let's see what i got okay you over here and the sword definitely goes to you two times more awesome come on you're strong enough i hope that you're going to be able to win try to kill the boss try to kill the boss here it is okay so as you can see he summons a lot so quite a lot so that's what you're going to need to do you're going to need to actually kill him come on okay guys let's hope you get the idea so endlessly endlessly i think this is the last boss i'm going to hit you you and that's it so here it is the purple star over there quite nice come on come on oh my god so he's going to kill me definitely <clears throat> a really really strong boss but what can you do i tried my best guys let me know how much did you play this game if you played it if not please try it it's an awesome awesome game definitely you do want to play this game if you're into merge tower defense games definitely an awesome awesome tower defense game that you guys need to try until next time take care don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button bye